Texas trade. Tim, I want to start by asking you about this uh, bidding war that seems to be occurring or potentially occurring for Acer Energy. We've got Drill Search with an offer on the table, but then we've got Cenex Energy buying into the share register. What's happening here? Well, we could expect to see a bidding war break out here. As you mentioned, Acer Energy already has an offer on the table from Dual Search, $118 million. But Cenex Energy has now become a substantial holder of the stock, buying up 6.4%. Uh, now, Cenex Energy, in comments today from their CEO, are not ruling out a takeover offer and they are uh, considering their options. So they certainly haven't ruled it out. Now, Acer Energy is an oil and gas explorer. Uh, they operate through the Cooper Basin, the Darling and Bass Basins. But what these companies Companies are bidding over are their Cooper Basin assets. Uh, both Drill Search and Cenex Energy have assets in the Cooper Basin. Uh, Drill Search already operate a couple of oil and gas conventional uh, operations there in the Cooper Basin. But a, a lot of what the Cooper Basin is all about is the untapped potential uh, shale gas in the area and uh, rising regional demand for resources has seen a lot of takeover activity in areas such as the Cooper Basin. Just recently we've seen Central Petroleum and Santos tie up in a joint venture there as well as BG Group taking a stake in drill searches exploration areas in terms of their shale gas. Uh, so the basin, uh, the natural gas reserves and the conventional oil and gas uh, reserves are dwindling there a little bit after years of drilling and production there but as I said the shale gas potentially massive reserves here and and that's where the upside will be if uh, the gas, natural gas prices do rise as expected. Uh, you should see shale gas to start becoming commercially viable. Uh, if we actually have a look at a one, uh, if we have a look at a 30-day chart for ACN here, you can see uh, Acer Energy uh, after that 25 and a half cent bid from Drill Search, the, the stock price has actually traded above that offer price, indicating the market may have expected another offer to come over the top. So now with Cenex Energy buying into the register, uh, register substantially, we've seen the stock price for Acer again rise strongly today, up 7%. And uh, what, we, uh, what this will mean is probably we're going to see more to come. And it will be an interesting battle if there is one, because Cenex Energy and Drill Search are uh, quite similar in size in terms of market capitalization. Uh, Cenex Energy does seem to have the edge in terms of strength of uh, operating cash flows as well as levels of cash. But the stock, uh, the stock for Acer Energy today performing strongly again. Tim, uh, the federal government also throwing its support behind that Qantas and Emirates tie-up. We heard there Alan Joyce, the CEO of the airline, speaking at the National Press Club in Canberra. He's reiterating that this is a good thing for the airline and certainly the share price gaining today. It will be a good thing for the airline. Uh, we've seen the, depart uh, the Department of Infrastructure and Transport throw its support behind the deal. So this will help with the, the consumer watch, uh, the competition regulator's decision, that being the ACCC. And we actually saw last week Qantas withdraw their temporary approval application for this alliance with airlines uh, Emirates. Uh, and they decided to wait for the, the final approval from the ACCC. Uh, draft approval now expected to come in sometime around the end of the year. But we've already seen Qantas begin selling tickets uh, from Melbourne to London via Dubai, which is a part of their turnaround strategy um, in terms of changing up some of their routes uh, uh, around the region. But certainly changes are needed in terms of Qantas International. We saw in the full year 2012 a loss of $450 million. They are uh, facing increased competition, particularly from these Middle Eastern airlines on routes through Asia and also through across to Europe. So from this alliance, uh, Qantas will be looking at uh, additional revenue from margin sharing. They'll be exiting some of their underperforming routes and they'll be importantly re-timing some of their Asian routes as well because uh, there has been some concerns in terms of uh, connection timings through Asia and Asia will be a booming region for Qantas moving forward. Uh, but Qantas have certainly been looking to turn the business around. They've been paying down debt. We saw them uh, divest out of their 50% stake in Star Trek recently. Uh, so they're now out of the retail freight express market completely. Uh, they have been paying down debt, improving their balance sheet position. Uh, though we did recently see their credit rating downgraded to triple B negative, but they'll be keen on keeping that rating steady. Uh, and certainly they have a stronger cash flow capital position now. So adding this together with their alliance with Emirates uh, and their, the valuation of Qantas at the moment, uh, you would say the share price performance uh, could well be positive over the, next, uh, over the coming term, uh, considering the book value of Qantas at the moment is only around half that of its global peers. But Qantas shares performing quite well today, up over 1%.